have just been living life, hanging out, you know? Um, I actually don't have bad credit. I have really good credit. Um, let's see. What have we been doing? Where's my sweater from? I just got this sweater from Target, and it's so comfortable and so cute and so affordable. Number one, the best. <sighs> People are ridiculous. How embarrassing that this is what you spend your free time doing. How embarrassing. Could you imagine, like, in your free time, you, like, go and troll people online? Interesting. Do I still have my Jeep? I don't have my Jeep. I haven't had my Jeep for a little over a year, and I miss it sometimes, but also my new car is so comfortable, you know? Have you ever thought about eyelash extensions? I went through a heavy eyelash extension phase, but they're very expensive they're kind of hard to keep up with i notice when i wear eye makeup as much ooh, ooh. um and you know sometimes you just want to fucking like do your smoky eye you really want to you know um am i reading anything good right now right now i am rereading is it called you can heal your life you can heal yeah, I think that's what it's called. Um, I'm in a hotel because I am meeting my friend in the city to help her with some stuff for the night. Um, so I didn't have to worry about driving home later. So I just got a hotel for the night. Super great. <laughs> oh, so funny. Oh my god, I always like miss comments because I'm talking. Do you use purple shampoo? I do use purple shampoo. That's why the ends of my hair are so much like they're a little pinky and like violety. I use the um, dry bar purple shampoo and the Pravana purple mask. I'm not moving back to Seattle. I have no idea where I'm gonna move. That's why. Ooh. Literally, I am not letting myself make a decision. If you're part of the Year View Facebook group, I was kind of talking about this. Like, I'm not letting myself make a living decision, moving decision, anything like that until at least the beginning of next year because I just changed my mind so much and I literally have absolutely zero clue where I want to live. Like, I have zero clue. Like, I lived in LA and there's like, I didn't really like where I was living in LA and when I moved out of LA, out of LA I knew for sure like I was done with that chapter of my life and then I moved to Seattle because all of my best friends like my closest closest friends live there but now like we're all getting older and um one of them is married and like now she's talking about trying for a baby and then the other one like in serious relationships and so we're just like all getting older and so it kind of like when was it like two almost two years ago like we it was kind of different we were all like in different phases of our lives but it it's a little different so I don't think I can move back there as of now that's not what I want to do but I could change my mind but I don't think I want to be that far away from my family. So I know that I want to stay on the West Coast. I know that I'm not an East Coast person. I looking? I was looking literally like around here. I don't think I really want to live in the city again. I don't. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I have no fucking idea. This is the problem when you move so much. And that's the other thing. Like I moved what five times, four, five, four to six times in the past, like two years year and two two years two and a half years like i'm so tired of moving so there's also that um don't feel pressure to keep up with your friends relationships i don't i don't know what that comment means but i don't think i do if i i don't really understand what that means um What do you want for Christmas? Things you want but wouldn't buy yourself. I have absolutely no idea. I'm the worst fucking person to buy a gift for because I never know what I want. And yeah, all my friends and family tell, tell me I'm the worst person to buy a gift for. Um, 
Oops. Oh, meaning be a wing woman? Oh, I guess that makes sense. Toronto! Yeah, that's way too much moving. And all of it in the moment, like, made sense. Like, I'm very happy that I left L.A., and I'm very happy that I moved to Seattle. Um, I'm, you know, happy that I moved to my next apartment and was closer to my family, and at the time, that seemed like the right decision. Do I wonder what would have happened if I stayed in Seattle? Yes, of course, but everything happens for reason so you can never like regret anything or take anything back everything is just like a fucking learning lesson and yeah uh, oh um please create a perfect bundle of crystals say to give my sisters for christmas um i was actually thinking about creating bundles for the holidays i don't know what i'm going to do yet i these few pieces of hair look so purple. Um, I am thinking of bundles to create for ho the holidays and Christmas time and stuff. So I'm thinking about that. I promise that's happening. It's happening. But I don't know. Back to the moving thing. Like that definitely is something that I'm thinking about and like trying not to stress about um, and just trying to like take it day by day. You know what I mean? I also forget that I'm also like fucking 24 and I don't have to figure my life out right away. I don't have to know what I'm doing one day at a fucking time, man. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Uh, my sweater is from Target. It's not warm at all though. So as you get to 15 degrees, this will not help you or assist you by any means anywhere. Um do another meetup. Yeah, I'll do one soon-ish. Oh my god, New Zealand. I want to go to New Zealand. I really want to go to Australia. Two of my best friends are in Australia. I'm so jealous. Um, am I gonna have a roommate? Put into, it's like a couple months away that her, um, her lease would be up, but I think it is something that I am exploring. I do have more videos coming. I am excited to start filming again. Somebody just asked how I have been since everything happened, and I was talking to my friend Jessica today, and I, this breakup is much different than my first, like, breakup, my first ever, like, real breakup, whatever, that I had, like, you know, a couple years ago, whatever. Um, it's very different. It feels very different. I, the first one, I was very, very sad and I was very, I don't want to say I was vocal about it because I really didn't like share a lot because I don't really think it's something that needs to be shared or that like has to be shared. But I do find myself just like in this moment, I'm okay and I know it's for the best. And like, to be honest, like, I don't, it's for the best, and the universe did me a fucking favor, and I, I don't know, I feel, like, fine and okay, but obviously I have, like, my hard days like everyone does, you know what I mean? But, I don't know, I was talking to my friend about it, and there's so much that happened and there's so many things that I want to tell people that are red flags that I ignored for so long and like so many things that I put up with and so many just things that I put up with that people should not put up with and shouldn't look past that I just don't think I should have done. So I think that right now I'm trying to like forgive myself a lot for things that I did. Um, but, yeah, do we keep in touch? Hell no. Um, to put that politely. Um, do I think I'm taking a dating break like you are with getting, like, how I'm getting a new place? I mean, I don't know, yeah, I'm not really trying to date anyone. Um, can't say that for the other part of it. <laughs> but, not my circus, not my monkeys. So, yeah, I mean, taking it day by day, um, I'm fine. Again, I, like, want to keep it that it's something that I will share just because I 
I just don't feel like it's appropriate, the nitty gritty details, you know what I mean? Um, but I thought someone was, wait, also, can you guys look at this painting? Is that not the scariest thing you've ever seen? Is that not the scariest thing? King died when I saw it. <sighs> um, Kaylin's my friend in real life. I love her to pieces. I love her so much. <sighs> I feel like, too, like, part of me doesn't want to hold back, and part of me does, like, want to say all the shit that I was put through. And, like, I know that I'm a great fucking girlfriend and a great partner, so when you're not met equally with that and like you just keep getting fucked over, it's pretty frustrating and hurtful. And it's just interesting, you know? Ugh, this top live thing. Oh god. Jesus. Um, but I think I will make like a red flags video. But I don't know how to do it. I think that the best way for me to explain how I'm feeling right now is I want to like, you remember Lauren from The Hills when she was like, um, when her and Heidi met and she's like, I want to forgive you and I want to forget you. Like, that's how I feel. Like, I need to forgive myself. I need to forget the other person or sorry, forgive myself for like putting and doing so much and like da 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 da. But I need to also forgive the other half but i also want to fucking forget because like honestly there's a reason if your friends don't like someone there's a reason and like all of those things so i am just someone who makes a lot of excuses for people and i'm someone who like thinks that i am unconditionally loving someone when really that's not the case. That's not how love works, you know? As Leanne says, wait, literally Leanne says, says, that's not how love works. Um, but yeah, I do appreciate everyone checking in on me and like really taking the time to see how I'm doing and like send me really sweet, positive messages. And I am okay. Like I totally, I'm cool with it. It's probably the best thing that happened to me all year and it needed to happen. It's just like obviously no matter who you are, like that shit sucks and it's painful, you know? So that's all you have to remember. And it's who you are in life no matter what the situation is no matter what your situation is like you're always going to feel some amount of pain and you are going to experience some heartache but like you know you just gotta fucking pick up the so confused about the cabin situation i didn't know you had one yes my family's had the cabin for i think almost three years now three and a half years now so i split some of my time up there um and it's good um we will not get back together i was just like and that's one of those things like we just never know what's gonna happen you know what i mean um but no that's not something that i want you know I always wonder that too. I'm like, do you really think that I'm gonna be like, ooh, yes, daddy, like you came at me on an Instagram live, like, seeing on myself and figuring me out, and I have, someone said I have too big of a heart, and I don't know if that's where I call it, but I feel like I need to be more selfish in relationships and friendships too, and that's what something I'm learning, that I'm someone who, again, feels like I'm loving unconditionally, but really it's like, I let myself get walked all over and like treated very poorly um, and 
I know it's hard in these situations to be like, oh, I don't know what she's talking about. Like, oh, like, you seem so happy or like you and so-and-so seemed like you were such good friends or you and so-and-so seemed like to have the perfect relationship. And it's like, nobody, like, if you're in that moment, it's not like, I don't know, you don't talk about those things. You don't like post a photo on Instagram and you're like, ah, <laughs> we got in this huge fight today. Like, I won't even give examples because, you know, um, but yeah, so I just... I don't know it's it's interesting but I am good I am happy and I know that what everything is happening now and I actually was filming a vlog clip and I was saying how I was like I am a positive person I'm a very happy person and I can positively say and realistically say that this was the worst year of my fucking life like from start to end and I'm okay with that and I know that next year will be better and it was just like a whole learning experience and I needed it to happen you know so sometimes we have to go through the bad shit to get to the better side that's not how that saying goes but you know what I mean it's only literally it's only been 15 minutes and I'm starving Ugh. Bitch, you have a hot ass toe. Hashtag jealous. Ew, I hate that I just said hashtag. <laughs> Is this the girl who does bong hits? Um, no. Do I look like the girl who does bong hits? Like, <laughs> glad I uh, give that vibe. Um, but. <sighs> oh, life is funny. What is funny? <sighs> always forget to take my thing hello bonjour we are back Felice Navidad. Okay. This room is so small and kind of creepy, but I kind of really like it. <sighs> okay. Ooh, bitch that double chin. Work queen. Yes, bitch. Oh my god, this is about a singer, sing, sing, blah, 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 senior dog rescue. Um, I'm doing... Am I gonna sell watercolor prints? I don't think so. Y'all, I'm not an artist. I am so not talented. I literally sent that photo to one of my guy friends and he was like, at least the colors are nice. And I'm like, bitch. <laughs> um, but I really like watercolor painting and just like painting in general. I've liked it since I was in middle school. And I, it's something that I kind of, what did you have for dinner? I have not had dinner yet and I'm dying. I'm so hungry. Um, thanks for everyone who likes my hair. Also, someone said bring the middle part back. Like, this is as middle party as I go, honestly. Other, Because, like, I have this very intense cowlick. Like, y'all, I was born for, like, beauty pageants, like, John Benet Ramsey who, RIP, is that too soon? Like, I have a cowlick that goes this way, and then this hair naturally, like, grows back that way so like I could have some like serious like I said um, um like I'm no one's housewife so I really went balls to the wall for a while there um a while there as in like four separate occasions Marissa calm down so there's gonna be no Christmas decor this year just so everyone knows at this moment I don't really plan on celebrating Christmas I told my grandparents to go spend it with our other family that I don't really want to celebrate Christmas as I said a little while ago I have zero ounce of cheer in me just being honest so I think I want to take myself on a trip for Christmas and oh my god what's my housewife's tagline Fuck, everyone stop what you're doing and think of my housewife's tagline. Fuck. 
I wish I had something. I wish I had something. I really do. I... God damn it. Oh, cheese pizza and ranch. Oh, la, 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 la. Um... Yes, but like what would my house what would my tagline be? Mm. Fuck, what would it be? Would it be involving wine? Would it involve men? Would it involve sex? Has has everyone been liking the sexual content that I've been posting on my Instagram story? Oh, so funny. <sighs> Everyone's commenting on my brows, but like wow, I really need to get them done. Honestly, I'm probably Shannon and Cassidy hates Shannon. Ugh. I feel like I'm a little bit Shannon and a little Heather. Yeah. Um, I literally almost posted an Instagram poll the other day. Um, Cassie, you're a loser. Fuck you. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, what is a Peggy? What is a Peggy? Um, wait. Ugh, fuck, I lost this. I'm the hottest hot mess. <laughs> Sadly, I'm not even, like, that much of a hot mess. I feel like I just give myself shit a lot and, like, give myself such a hard time. Um. Mm. I don't know. That's so funny. Oh, I almost posted an Instagram poll the other day asking if you'd rather give up masturbating or pizza. Honestly, that's really hard. I have no idea. It's mm. so hard. Also, I love how many of you signed up for that what's in your box box. Like that sex box. It's like a box based around women empowerment and women like pleasure, sex, um, and so many of you guys messaged me, and they messaged me that so many of you guys have signed up for it, like, what are these, like, weird hairs? Why are you straight? LOL, my, <clears throat> never mind, inappropriate, we won't make political jokes. <laughs> um, like, what is this? What is happening? <laughs> mm. Oh my god, so, wait, I remind you of Nene Leaks? I don't think that's a compliment. <laughs> you can eat pizza in public with friends. So? Mm, as a liberated woman, are you pro-porn? Porn, like in general? Like a porn industry of, of like watching it myself or like my partner watching it? I don't understand the question. Um, new video, I think Saturday morning. I think. That's when I'm um, Probably do you watch it. I don't have to watch it. I get off very quickly. Um, but I know a lot of my friends do. Actually, one of my best friends messaged me when I posted that um, like, poll about, about, like, sex in general and talking about sexy friends, she's like, I actually wish you watched porn, like, then we could talk about our favorite porn stars, because, like, she has favorites, um, and all my friends give me a hard time, because I don't watch porn, not that I'm not against it, I just, I don't need it, but no, I would have no problem with my partner watching it. Whatever floats your boat. Also, I've seen that movie though, Hot Girls Wanted. So. That was terrifying. I hate that these. My God. <laughs> Terrifying. Um, what time is it? Oh my God. My body's about to wither away and die. Mm, 
loyal a cosmetics fan. Um, I try to stay out of the politics of fucking a cosmetics. Because that girl... Ugh, I just see so many things. And I try and stay out of everything. I try and stay out of it. Um, no, I did not go see Kesha. I did not see that until literally days later. Um, I'm not on any dating apps. The sweater is from Target. <laughs> How many slices of pizza can I eat at a time? Honestly, so embarrassing. Like two or three. Two or three. I'm weak. Um, okay. I think I'm gonna wrap this up. I love you guys so much. Um. I don't fuck with Neutrogena, TBH, just being very honest. Uh, no, we would never get back together over my... Nope, just no. <laughs> um, okay.